What's up, party people from the fifth dimension? This is your homeboy, Angelo, out here in the beautiful, beautiful nature park here in Southern California. It's a hot one today. We've got a heat wave, a heat advisory. Temperature is getting up over 90 degrees Fahrenheit today. But that's all right. The sun is shining, and I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good today. You know, I can't complain. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm grounded into mother gaia and things are going all right there's a there's a little breeze in here that's help helping to mitigate that that extreme heat that we're feeling today now i know some of you guys out there in the desert you think that's nothing 98 nothing you're probably right but i'm a pacific northwest boy i come from the north and this is a warm day this is like a summer day here a, a full-on summer day today i'm gonna be talking about letting it go letting that shit go because that shit is not going to serve you in any capacity and what am i talking about what stuff as i look over here i see a license plate with 333 on it check this out triple threes were divinely guided we are divinely guided every day keep in mind that we are running according to god's plan the universe creator source all the names you want to use for God, we are in accordance to his plan. So important to realize that letting go is one of the best things you can do in this life. Obviously, we have free will. Obviously, we can take charge of our lives and make things crack a lack, make things open up, make things happen for us. At the same time, there's going to be many things that are beyond our control that we have to accept and we have to let go. If we hold on to those things, if our ego is holding on to those things, trying to change other people, trying to change outcomes that we have no control over, it is going to lead us down a road with anxiety and stress and fraught and self-imprisonment. So we have to learn to let that shit go every day. An example, I was traveling recently to see a person who was my friend, I thought, now, I'll back it up just a little bit. What is a friend? Everybody could be a friend. A friend is somebody that has your back, and sometimes the road to hell is paved in good intentions, as a friend of mine once said. The road to hell is paved in good intentions. So while not everybody means us harm, some people don't know how to take care of themselves and don't know how to care for other people. Some people lack empathy. Some people lack a lot of the essential tools in being a viable communicator and for aligning with other people so i was visiting a friend friend was very triggered admittedly had a bunch of anger issues rage in fact rage issues not just anger rage so raging at people yelling at people getting completely out of hand abusive with the tongue lashings and the people around we're just taking it. We're just accepting it because this was a person they looked up to. This is the this person I looked up to in my life at one point and in some ways still do on a level. But when it comes to someone being abusive towards you and someone being rageful towards you, that's where I draw the boundary. That's where I say, no, you will not speak to me that way. I do not accept. I will not tolerate being spoken to in this fashion. So if someone is using violent language, abusive language, rageful antics, that's when I said I will not tolerate this. And that was one of the hardest things I've learned to do in my life was to say, no, I will not accept this and to walk away. Now, sometimes walking away means you can lose all kinds of things. You can lose your reputation within a certain circle. But if that's what you feel, that's not your circle in the first place. You should always go where you are celebrated, where you are wanted, and people make time and space for you because they love you for exactly who you are. Flip that, no one should have to take being talked down to, yelled at, or putting their rage and frustration on you. If a person can't handle that, that's time to cut the cord and go. Go, protect yourself at all costs, protect your energy at all costs, because there's just one life to live. There's lots of great people out there. People out there that love us for who we are and will treat us the way we deserve to be treated. We're all working through stuff. Not to say I haven't had my issues with rage and anger and disappointment and 
whatever. We're all going through it. We're all human beings. We're all spiritual entities having a human experience. That said, protect your energy and let it go. Let it go. Forgive. You forgive everybody in your life. I don't care what they've done to you. Forgive them. That doesn't mean that you have to continue to take punishment, abuse, and put yourself in that negative energy field where that's coming from. But get out, forgive, move on. Because if you're holding on to that anger, you're holding on to that rage, you're holding on to that animosity or any of these dark feelings, it's going to destroy you. It's going to destroy you. So get away from negative energy. Find people that align with your positive vision. I'm not saying to just align with people who agree with you because this said person that I'm using as an example, they've got people that are always in agreement with them, always agreeing, always condoning the behavior. And I say, if you're complicit in a situation such as that, then you're also part of the problem. If you, if you stand by and let someone act out negative behavior, you're just as culpable. You're just as culpable. So speak up when something's wrong, step up when something's wrong, and walk away when there's something of that nature happening in your life, if you feel what I'm saying. And when you do walk away, really walk away, not just physically walk away, remove yourself. Feel the feels, get angry, cry, whatever it is for you to get through it. Don't take it out on somebody else. Work through your own shit and then let it go. And then you'll have more space within yourself, more space within your heart and soul and mind to allow more positive people and situations and energy into your life. I hope this finds you well. I trust it does. I love you party people. Keep on keeping it 5D. Peace, love, many blessings. Until next time, I'm out.